Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 6-2 Beer Reviews. We are continuing on with some Green Cheek. Checking out some more West Coast IPA from them. This one is called Perpetual Noodlein. This is a West Coast IPA clocking in at 7.2%. And I believe, it doesn't say on the can here, but I looked it up. I think it said it was hopped with Mosaic, Strata, and more. So, a few other goody hops in here. I'm not quite sure what, but really cool label, um, as always, from these guys. A little cheeky. I think, is it cheeky or is it pally? I, one or the other. I see both, you know, I follow them. And, uh, not quite sure. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, but yeah, so 7.2%. This was canned on... June 27th, so we are about five, six weeks old. Still plenty fresh, at least for me, anyways. Excited to check this one out. Again, with these beers, man, I can smell it from here already. It's insane. Don't know how they do that, especially over you know, like five, six weeks old. It's crazy. But that beer is just super clear. I mean, good finger and a half, two fingers. Um, I poured it pretty hard, but um, just pretty soapy head on there, sticking around too. Yeah, I mean, it's just glowing in the glass. It's like looks like lemonade, like lemonadey. Um, I mean, not like quite unfiltered, like. It's definitely got that clear look to it, just like golden straw colored. Um, yeah, that beer looks awesome. So nice carbonation. Let's go ahead, get a nose on it. Ooh, yeah, super fruity. Um, right off the bat, I just noticed the mosaic out of anything. Strata is one of those hops that like I've I've enjoyed the beers that I've had Strata with. I just don't really remember, um, or like, yeah, I don't really know what I get from Strata, so, but right off the bat, I mean, this is just super fruity, like, smells like fruit salad, just like mixed citrus, berries, um, a little bit of a, like, dank, earthy thing, <sighs> just smells super light, slightly malty. Just like a little bit of like white bread note. Yeah, five, five, six weeks in the can. Still smells awesome. So let's dive in. Joe, cheers. Thank you, sir. Super dry finish. Nice, decent amount of bitterness. More than I was expecting. I was honestly expecting with these newer, um, new school West Coast IPAs, just expecting like super fruity, uh, not necessarily so much bitterness. But there's a decent amount of bitterness to this. Yeah, that mosaic just really sticks out to me. Um, I'd be really interested. I don't know, you know, they say and more on there. Like, what other hops are they putting in this? This is like really mosaic forward to me. Maybe a little bit with that bitterness, like some kind of old school sea hops in there or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I, it's good, whatever it is. I'll tell you that much. Super drinkable. I mean, 7.2%. This drinks, it doesn't drink as light as, um, what beer was that? Um, Happily Deceased, their West Coast IPA is dead. Um, that beer, that beer was just so light, and I think that beer was around 7% too. This drinks more like 7%, um, but it still drinks super, super light. I love that bitterness on the back end though. It's almost like grapefruit citrus, lemon peel, that kind of vibe going on. 
this is just a, another solid West Coast IPA from Green Chief. It's not as carbonated, I guess. Um, I mean, it's 7%, but it's not as carbonated as some of the other ones I've noticed. Uh, maybe that's, you know, like we reviewed a cold IPA from them or cold pale ale, I guess. Um, that beer was super spritzy on your tongue. This beer, not so much. It's definitely a little bit more leaning towards that, like American IPA style. Um, like their other, yeah, their American IPA, the over notification. If you want to check out that review, check that out, please. Um, that beer was phenomenal. Old school Amarillo and Simcoe on that beer. That beer was awesome. Um, this drinks more like that beer. It's just a little thicker, a little heavier, um, but it's not like boozy at all. Um, it just drinks like a solid West Coast IPA. Um, but I definitely get mosaic forward here. Um, Strata, I'm just, it, it's one of those things, I think I get like just super fruity notes out of Strata. I'm just not that familiar with the with hop. I know a lot of people love it though. Um, But, I mean, this is super solid. There's a little bit of like a sweet, sugary, citrus peel. Um, like it, there's a salad that I get in town at a local pizza joint. They, they put um, candied orange peel on top of the salad. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Except like maybe a little bit more like lemon forward versus um, orange peel. Uh, but this beer, is, this beer is awesome. West Coast IPA Perpetual Noodling from Green Cheek. Joe, Jaws Arcade, thank you so much for sending this beer over um, and all the other Green Cheek beers. Look forward to checking out a few more, um, but they've all been just killer. Absolute killer IPAs. So if anybody's had this one, let me know. Uh, let me know what you thought about it because this beer was awesome. So... Uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got. That's a perpetual noodling green cheek. Uh, Going to review some more here. Look forward to it. So I'll catch you next time. Cheers.